What's up you freaking geniuses? So here's another transportation practice problem for the PE civil exam, all right? So here the problem says the following information is for a proposed horizontal curve. So it says the PI station or point of intersection station is at 1869. The degree of curvature or curve is 12 degrees and the deflection angle is 15 degrees, 45 minutes. Then it says the station of the PT, the point of tangency, or in other words, the end of the curve, is most nearly, and then it gives us these four options right here, okay? So the first thing I always like to do is draw a picture because it definitely clears things up for me. So there's our horizontal curve, and then here's our two tangent lines right there. So uh, the point right here where the curve touches the tangent point, this is the, the start of your curve, right? So this is the PC where these two tangent lines intersect. This is the PI. And then the end of the curve where it touches the tangent, uh, that's not drawn super cleanly, but this point over here is the PT, right? The point of tangency. So we're trying to find the station for the PT over here. Okay, so one equation you can use for the PT here would be that the PT is equal to the PC plus L. So the beginning point, right, this station over here, plus L, and L is just the length from your PC to your PT. Okay, so how do you find the PC and the L? Well, for that, we can use the handy dandy reference book that you can find for free on the NCEES website, which I'm gonna pull up right now. So this is one of the chapters in the PE Civil Handbook, right? This is chapter five, which covers transportation. And then here you can see it says horizontal design, right? So basically lays out the structure for all our horizontal uh, curvature elements. Okay, so again, we wanna find, uh, in order to find the PT, we first need to find the PC and L over here. Okay, so if you scroll down just a couple pages, uh, here's one more page, it gives us a couple other elements of a horizontal curve. So the degree of curvature by arc definition and degree of curvature by chord definition. Okay, but then uh, this is the page we mainly want to focus on. So this is just relating all of our elements together, right? So we want to find a way to solve for the PC and the L. Well, it doesn't give us an explicit way to solve for the point of curvature, but it does give us two equations to solve for the length, right? So we have this one and this one down here. So let's just use this one down here. So L is equal to 100 times delta over dA. Okay, so uh, we know that this right here, L is equal to 100 times delta over dA. Okay, so we have both of these. There are these two right here, but which one is which? So we can go back to clarify really quick. So if we scroll up a little bit here, we could see that dA is the degree of curvature by arc definition, okay? So uh, degree of curvature by arc definition would be 12 degrees. So that means 12 degrees is dA, right? So that means delta must be the deflection angle, and you can go back to the handbook to just confirm that. So if we come up here, we can see that delta right here is indeed the deflection, whoops, the deflection angle right there, right? So then the deflection angle is 15 degrees and 45 minutes. Now, whenever you have minutes to convert that to a decimal, all you have to do is divide this by 60. So 45 divided by 60 is the same thing as 3 fourths, which is the same thing as 0.75, right? So 15 degrees, 45 minutes is the same thing as 15.75 degrees. Okay, so then here we can say that the length is equal to 100 times uh, 15.75 over dA, which is 12, and this is equal to approximately 131.25, right? So we're gonna keep this in our back pocket while we try to figure out PC, okay? So one way we can solve for PC is by finding the distance from the PI to the PC, and that distance uh, that distance right here is known as the tangent distance, okay? So if you go back to your handbook, uh, we, it shows us that distance right here from the PI to the PC is the tangent distance, all right? So how can we solve for the tangent? Let's go to our formulas. The tangent, it says, is equal to R tan uh, delta over two, right? So the tangent is equal to R tan 
delta over two. Uh, we don't know r, which is the radius. So let's go back to our handbook and figure out how to solve for the radius. So here gives us two ways to solve for the radius. Uh, we don't have a dc, but we do have a da. So let's use this formula right here. So 5729.6 divided by da. So let's do that over here. Uh, right here, r is equal to 5729.6 divided by da, which uh, da again was 12, right? So then here, uh, 5729.6 divided by 12 is approximately 477.47, okay? And this is all in feet, right? So L over here was in feet and the radius is also in feet. Okay, cool. So now that we know our radius, let's plug it in. So we're gonna get that the tangent is equal to 477.47 times the tangent of delta, which again is 15.75 and that's over two, okay? So then here, when you plug this all in, you're gonna get that the tangent is equal to approximately 66.04 feet, okay? So that's the distance from the PI to the PC. So if we want to find the station of the PC, all we have to do is start with the PI, which is 1869. So we're going to say 1869 minus this distance right here, right, minus T. And that's going to give us our PC uh, station, which is at, let's see, 1802.96. So the station for that would be 18 plus 02.96. Okay, uh, but I'm not gonna write it as a station quite yet. I'm just putting that as a reference. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as the length in feet because remember our length over here is still in feet also, right? So again, the PT, which is what we're looking for, is equal to the PC plus L. So the PT, we can finally say, is, uh, let's see, 1802.96 plus the length, which is 131.25. And when you add those two bad boys up, you get 1934.21, okay? And if we wanted to write this as a station, then it would simply be 19 plus 34.21, okay? So there's your final answer, 1934.21. Our answer looks like it would be most nearly B right there.